Silverstone and perfect autumn weather for the final round of the championship, and already an end of term atmosphere. Smiles are plenty for the Honda and Nissan drivers, but even more at Renault. They got the silverware from the drivers, manufacturers and team's championships. But that second place was still under dispute, Plato versus Bieler. We have to fight for a few more points. I mean, in the first race it's quite difficult, I'm only 12 on the grid. But in the second one it went a bit better and I'm sixth, so uh, I have to get seven points and then I'm, I'm second in the championship. I'm, I'm quite optimistic. Plato was on pole position for round 23, ahead of Tarquini, Menu and Reed. If he could get off the line cleanly, he'd be on target for those championship points. That he did, with Menu, Reed's Nissan and Tarquini's Honda in hot pursuit. Plato staying ahead as they turn in, Menu second, Reed is third, there he is, number 23 in the Nissan, behind him, Gabriele Tarquini. And now it's the dash down to Magus, but we're with Rydell. This is the part of the circuit where it narrows down into single file. By the time we get through this right-hander, everyone has to be sorted out line astern. Round maggots up to Beckett's, and there's the Ford ahead. We're with Ri Ricard Rydell, there's an Audi on the right, and there's contact. It's Bieler, it's Bieler. Rydell has hit Frank Bieler. So now out of Ireland, down to Abbey, and that's where they rejoin the Grand Prix circuit. Plato's leading menu is second, and there, coming through this Warwick and Hoy, and John Teller, the two Vauxhall vectors together, the Ford on the inside as they go round the left-hander, up to Bridge. And look how hard they're trying in the opening laps. This is Hoy getting right in the middle of a scrap with the good old boy, splitting the Vauxhalls in two. Round the right-hander here, so hard on these opening laps. They had two warm-up laps to try to get the heat in the tyres, so hard do they go from the start. So, out of Priory and Brooklands, up into the two right-handers, Luffield, backs towards the end of the lap. And here are the leaders. Jason Plato leads, there's Menu behind him is Anthony Reid, behind him is Gabriele Tarquini. One lap completed, we're with Colin Galley now, and he's off. Colin Galley, the independent driver, is leading the Total Cup, and he rejoins the track. But he's lost a lot of time there, on to Cops. And Jamie Wall, there he is, has gone ahead of Rob Gravitt now. Rob, Rob Gravitt started in front of him. Now Patrick Watts, he's going extremely well in the Peugeot. Each position staying ahead of the two Audis and the Ford. It's a great showing from Peugeot and it's a brilliant scrap between the Ford and these two Audis. Look! Oh, Bint and Bieler, Bieler, Bieler pushing, he's going to go through inside Bintcliffe. But I reckon Big Cliff actually let him through. Yeah, that'd be team order strength. He's all the points he can get on. Here comes Redisic up the inside of Bintcliff. Now, any old Audi will do. I'll swap paint with either of you. I don't really mind. <laughs> so, away, away goes Redisic, and I think he has got... Pa yes, he has. He's got past number seven, John Bintcliff. So he's between the two Audis. And down to the end of that comes Patrick Watts in the Peugeot. Now he's got Beeler behind him. Redisic is having a go at Bintcliff. Goes through on the inside. There is the vector. Where Inside, John Cleland's vector, and that's Derek Warwick's car ahead of him, and Paul Radisic is there somewhere in this lot with the blue Ford Mondeo. It's a terrific scrap. And that's a really tricky part of the circuit there too, that maggots Beckett's complex. The car gets really unbalanced as they go through there. It's a hard place to stay in station and not swap paint. But that's not bothered any of these boys, and I think those both of those Vauxhalls are quite keen to dive into this fender bending action. It's a really, really good midfield race. Yeah, they're really struggling because they've got that aerodynamic problem. But out of Ireland, and down into Abbey again. Patrick Watts ahead of us. We're with Frank Beeler, last year's champion in the four-wheel drive Audi, struggling to get past the Peugeot. It's improved beyond recognition, the Peugeot, thanks to all the work that MSD have done. They go round Priory, the left-hander now. On towards Brooklands, another left-hander. Patrick Watts staying ahead of last year's champion. Now we're with John Cleland, and bang, bang! Fabulous, you softened him up, Derek, that old parson. Warwick hits Bintcliffe. Now, we're with John Cleland, what's happening? Where is Derek Warwick? He's around there somewhere in the vector. There he is, and he's off! He's off! John Cleland seems to have nerfed his own teammate off. Could he have avoided that? <laughs> Only by lifting off the throttle, Murray. That would have been one way around it. Oh, well, you can't do that in a motor race. Back again with Reed now, and he's attacking. Menu is attacking Plato. Look ahead. Alan Menu's having a go at his own teammate who's leading the race who needs those points. I made through. Alan Menu's passed him, and now 
Plato actually Reed's going to do the same thing. Plato ran wide onto the marbles. He's lost first place, he's lost second place. Okay, JP, what happened? Stay with a chase. Yeah, I'm saying, can you explain to me while that was the man? That was the, the most riskiest overtaking maneuver I've ever seen. I had to give him room and he was only half off the side and then he tried to put me on the ground. What is going on? What indeed is going on? There certainly don't seem to be any team orders, or, or if there are, menu's breaking them. Yeah, they're plainly out big team orders, Murray. I'm absolutely astounded. That's the most incredible pass, the most significant pass we've seen all year. It was a fair pass, it was a very hard pass, not the one you'd expect maybe to see on your teammate. And definitely it appeared Plato wasn't ready for it. I guess he wasn't assuming that he was going to be passed. Well, there is Plato going through. Here's a replay. Let's see what happened to Plato. He's going round Maggots. Now it's a Beckett. It's the double right-hander. Goes a bit wide. Don't forget Alamenu is right behind. Into the left-hander at Ireland. And down towards... There goes Menu. And out onto the marbles goes Jason Plato. You can hear there, Plato actually had to lift his throttle, which is why Reed gets past him as well. I mean, he, he might have thought Menu was his tail gunner, but he... Feels like he's been shot in the back by him. Well, Alan Menu leads. Up into second place has gone Anthony Reid. Down to third position has gone Jason Plato. And he's lost five championship points in the process. So, down to Abby. Reid has done extremely well. He grasped that opportunity brilliantly and shot past Plato up into second position. And now it looks as though he's going to start to harry Alan Menu, the leader. Could we even see Nissan with Anthony Reid at the wheel winning this race? Definitely not impossible. The next couple of laps should tell. If Menu's been held up by Plato, then Menu now should pull out into the distance. But we're now going to get a clear view of Reid, the Nissan, and Menu in the Renault back to back. Very, very close on performance. Alan Menu leading. Anthony Reid, who's spent so long racing in Japan, back in the UK, and doing extremely well. He's had one second place in his British Touring Car Championship career. Now, this is Thompson battling against Kelvin Burt's Volvo. Thompson on the inside, number 11, Kelvin Burt, sixth position on the outside. Right behind them is David Leslie in the Nissan Primera, and they come out of Luffield too, out of Woodcote, through to the end of the lap, down to Cops, and here comes Tarquini, fourth position. How's the battle going? There's his teammate Thompson. Burt has a look, and Burt goes through. Yeah, brilliant strong pass by Bertie. Got a toe down the straight, but I think there must be something wrong with that Honda. It should yeah. be going harder around yeah. here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Leslie's gone past. There's the Nissan Primera going past, up into sixth place. James Thompson, who hasn't had a lot of luck this season, has got another problem. And coming out of Ireland, there's a great scrap for fifth position. This is the one you're looking at. There is David Leslie. Down to Abbey again. Now this is maximum retardation from this point onwards. They've built up to about 130 miles an hour. And you can see they roll round the right hand. They get the foot hard down, accelerate up towards bridge. 